You guys know how bad I am with penalties. Hopefully with Cristiano Ronaldo, I can actually score. I'm gonna go right. Let's hope this works and well, all it took was Cristiano Ronaldo to join the team for me to actually score penalties. One Bissaka who's had a great game, looks for Ronaldo. Big chance for Cristiano. Can he score from open play? He can't. Marcus Rashford on the rebound, bangs at home. Let's go. So, we're back again with another episode of the Manchester United Career Mode series. This is episode number 20. Last episode, we kicked off season 2 and it was a big episode for the series because we went ahead and signed Cristiano Ronaldo. He's back at Old Trafford. Today's episode, we've got some big games, especially this one in the UEFA Super Cup as we take on Juventus in the final. The Champions League winners, Juventus up against the Europa League winners United. Should be a cracking game of football. Ronaldo facing his former team as well. Of course, we've got a ton of transfer business to work towards in today's episode. Last episode, we were forced to sell Paul Pogba to Barcelona. And in today's episode, we're on the hunt for a midfielder to replace him. Fair to say a lot's gonna go down in today's episode. We've got a cup final, transfer business, and a lot more. So if you guys are enjoying this Manchester United career mode, let's keep the support coming in 3,000 likes would be amazing and if you are new around here subscribe for more FIFA 20 career mode content. You know the drill. Time to start off the episode with a press conference. Want to see your questions being answered? Drop them down in the comments section below. First question, may Cristiano Ronaldo's shirt long armed as he often wears it that way in Juventus as well as Real Madrid? And you know what? Let's actually get that done. So we're going to give him the long kit sleeve. It actually makes a lot of sense because he's now playing in England, the colder climate. So long sleeves do make sense. And there's a lot of likes on this comment. So we're going to be giving Cristiano Ronaldo or the long kit sleeve also makes him look a lot better in game i suppose so another cristiano ronaldo question seems like you guys are really excited about this transfer will you be starting ronaldo in almost every game even though he is 35 years old nope that is not going to be happening he's already going down in his overall we've got to try and manage his game time as well as possible so in most cases whenever there's a champions league game i won't be playing him in the premier league game before that so that way he'll be fully fit i don't want to be playing him twice every week so i'm gonna try and restrict using ronaldo once every week because Let's be honest guys, he's 35, he does not have the legs to play every game, so in competitions like the Carabao Cup and FA Cup, I won't even bother trying to even start him. So that's how I'm going to try and manage Ronaldo's game time and hopefully we can have a very good season with him. As you guys can see, some of his stats are already going down, we've got to be very careful with how we use Cristiano Ronaldo this season. Next question and well, this one is huge. Now that you've sold Paul Pogba, you should sign Fede Valverde. He's young, he's got good potential and he's a great box-to-box -box midfielder. Can't deny any of those statements. Now, we were on the hunt for Milinkovic Savage as I thought he would have been a great replacement for Paul Pogba. But let's be honest guys, we've used Mili Savage a lot in my career modes. Why not use someone completely different like Fede Valverde? We've actually spoken about signing him before and now that Paul Pogba has gone to Barcelona, bringing in Fede Valverde might be the play also. He's a lot more defensive than, of course, Pogba, which allows us to, you know, play Valverde along with Awar. And that midfield would be absolutely class. So you know what? I think we're going to do this. He's 84 rated. He's only 22. He's 6 foot. He's got some great stats all round. Great work rates as well. Let's make this happen. Fede Valverde to Manchester United. Let's see if it's possible. With that, we've wrapped up today's press conference. Let's move on. As you know, we sold Pogba in the last episode to Barcelona. An offer came in for 60 million. And well, the deal was we had to accept any offer that came in from Barca, Juve or Real Madrid. Barcelona took the bait and well, they have now signed Pogba. It is now time for us to go on the hunt for a replacement. We've got enough money to sign anyone in the world right now, but we're going for Fede Valverde. All right, guys, let's make this happen. The Uruguayan to Manchester United. He's valued at 37 million, but we should be able to get him from anywhere between 46 and about 70 million. Let's see how much he's going to cost. We're negotiating with Zinedine Zidane for this one. I'm going to go with a 45 million pound offer. I think it's a fair one for Fede Valverde. Let's see what Real Madrid come back and say. They want about 62 million, which is also a good amount of money for someone like him. Let's counter with maybe 53, I suppose. 53 million for Fede Valverde. Let's see what Zidane comes back and says. And, well, they're willing to accept that. 53 million for Fede Valverde. Yo, that seems like a fantastic deal for us. We sold Pogba for 60 and we're getting Valverde for less. 
That works out for me perfectly. It's actually really cool to see that Fede Valverde actually has a game face, just makes things more realistic. Now, these are his demands. He's willing to take a wage cut, which is nice. Important squad role, five-year contract length. He does want a hefty signing bonus. So let's remove the appearance bonus, submit offer, and let's see if Valverde is willing to accept this contract. And well, he is. 105,000 is enough to seal Fede Valverde to Manchester United and well, that is our second signing of this window. Let's go. Number six is currently vacant at Manchester United and it kind of feels like Fede Valverde deserves to get this kit number. So we're going to be giving him. Number six is currently vacant at Man United. So it just makes sense to give Valverde this kit number. So there you go. He's going to be donning the number six jersey. So this is how our team looks with the signing of Fede Valverde. I've got to say he does add a lot of balance to our team. I mean, if you look at his stats, every stat is well balanced. And I think he's going to be a lot more defensive than Pogba, which actually works in our favor because Awar can then be the aggressive midfielder going forward and looking to create more. So I think it's a good balance to have between Valverde and Awar. So I think we've done brilliant by signing him. Okay, so now that we've signed Fede Valverde, who let's be honest, is a lot more defensive than Pogba, and we've already got Scott McSomney, who's a defensive midfielder, we don't really need Fred. In fact, I'm actually considering selling Fred and bringing in someone else to be back up to Awar or a youngster who can, you know, compete with maybe Awar as well as Fede Valverde. So I'm still looking to sign another midfielder and replacing Fred. So I'm going to be putting him on the transfer list and we're going to be getting rid of him. He gave us a good last season being back up to our midfield, but now it's time to move on and bring in someone else. I'm not going to be making that signing in today's episode. We need to sign another midfielder. Let me know in the comment section who should we go for. I don't want him being better than Awar. I want someone to be back up to Awar. So keep that in mind while dropping in your suggestions. Again, transfer budget doesn't really matter. We've got basically unlimited funds. Last episode, I asked you guys for suggestions for the season goals and I received a tremendous amount of them. And so, after going through your comments, these are the six objectives we're going to try and complete over the course of this upcoming season. Remember, if we fail to complete at least four out of these six objectives, we're going to have to do a four feet. Let's now go through the objectives. Class of 2021. Now, this one's inspired from one of the previous objectives we had. Give 15 appearances to Youth Academy players this season. It's a bit harder than what we had last season, but I'm up for the challenge. Mr. Champions League. We had to have objectives based around Ronaldo now that we've signed him. Score 10 goals with Cristiano Ronaldo in the Champions League. This is going to be difficult, but he's called Mr. Champions League for a reason. I'm expecting him to get it done. Next one we've got is the Theatre of Dreams. Avoid losing at Old Trafford this season. You know, if you want to be a successful team, you've got to be strong at home. And this objective will try and inspire us to be exactly that. So at home, we've got to be a fortress. Moving on, we've got some more interesting objectives. Score 50 goals this season with Rashford, Ronaldo and Sancho this season. It's going to be challenging, but with the quality these three have got, I think we'll get it done. Keeping it clean. Keep 18 clean sheets this season in all competitions. You guys know how bad I am defensively. So this, this one's going to be a difficult objective. And now this one is probably going to be the hardest of them all. Penalty King. Score every penalty earned from open play this season. So far, things are going well. We scored with Ronaldo in the last episode, but... I'm not too confident, but we'll hope for the best. Penalties earned from shootouts won't count because then it'll just be too hard. So let's hope we can complete all the objectives that we've got here this season. So it's now time for the UEFA Super Cup Final as Manchester United take on Juventus. Champions of Europe, Juventus up against the Europa League winners, Manchester United. I'm really hoping we can win this trophy and add the UEFA Super Cup to our Hall of Fame. So far in this series, we've won two trophies. Let's make that three. This would be the perfect way to start off the season. It's not going to be easy though. We're up against the team that just won the Champions League. But big news is that we've signed their talisman Ronaldo and he's going to be up against them. So that does give us a bit of an advantage. Let's hope for the best. Let's go out there and win this trophy. This is a cup final. I'm not taking any chances. I'm basically going with my strongest 11 for this one. Cristiano Ronaldo playing against this former side. We've got Bruno starting, Sancho as well, Marcus Rashford. Fede Valverde making his Manchester United debut in a game like this. I'm excited to see how he performs. We've got Marquinhos, Juan Bissaka, Maguire all starting, David De Gea in goal. I'm ready for this, man. I am absolutely ready for this. And that is the Juventus team we're up against. I've got to say, they've got a quality defense with Delict, Alexandro, Carvajal and co. Their midfield looks decent with Rabiot and Bensancourt and even Aaron Ramsey. And their attack looks pretty good with Paolo Dybala, Benzema and all. But 
No Ronaldo for them. I think they've replaced them with Karim Benzema. So I'm confident, man. I think we've got the better team here. I'm ready for this game. If we can actually beat the champions of Europe in this game, that'll be a huge statement to all other Champions League clubs because that'll announce us as potential contenders for the trophy. So I'm ready for this, man. Let's give it our everything. Let's try and beat Juventus. Sees one Bissaka. We're moving the ball around really well. This could actually be a proper good chance for us. Still one Bissaka. Keeps hold of the ball. He's got the strength as well. Does really well, actually. Goes back to Awar. It is now Bruno Fernandes. I'm waiting for some movement. Fede Valverde has actually made the run. Goes for goal. Getting his first chance in a Manchester United shirt. Chesney makes a good save, though. Oh, here we go with Aaron Wan Bissaka. This is looking lovely. We know he's got the pace. But does he have the final delivery? Time to find out. Good ball played in. It's actually brilliant and it misses everybody there. Oh, that is frustrating. But a fantastic delivery from Aaron Wan Bissaka. Here's Fede Valverde. Lovely pass into Ronaldo. Sees Awad back inside to Ronaldo who tries to score. But Juventus win that one really well so far. We've been probing the Juventus defense, but they've done really well. But I think we've been the dominant side. Let's keep it going. Although the tables could turn here as it's a chance for Juventus. Bensancor with a few step overs, looking for space to shoot. Goes backwards to Adrian Rabio. Now it's Aaron Ramsey looking to get a shot off. And well, he does. I cannot believe that, man. Aaron Ramsey with his weaker left foot has just banged that home. Wow. Juventus have taken the lead out of nowhere. This is literally their first chance of the game. And Aaron Ramsey has just done that. What are we supposed to do, man? He was dribbling there fantastically. Fede Valverde couldn't get near him. And then a finish like that, you don't expect that from Ramsey. Especially with his weaker left foot. If that was his right foot, you know what? I'll put my hands up and say, wow, well done. But left-footed foot shot from Ramsey going in like that? Can't believe it, man. We're 1-0 down. It's going to be an uphill battle from here. Problems here as Aaron Ramsey's had a fantastic game, but this time Marquinhos puts in the interception and it looks like the tables have turned now as they're creating all the chances and we're struggling to even get the ball out of our own half. Can we create something here from this? Sancho looks for Marcus Rashford. It's a brilliant ball and this could be our chance to get back into the game. Rashford goes for goal and he does not miss chances like that. Marcus Rashford makes it 1-1 and look at the time there. The ref probably should have blown for half time, but you know what? I'll take it. Rashford making it 1-1. A brilliant assist from Jadon Sancho. I mean, why aren't these fans excited? Anyways, who cares? 1-1. Jadon Sancho with a lovely through ball into Rashford who took it in his stride brilliantly and then the finish was superb as he scores in yet another final for United. Manchester United 1, Juventus 1. And what a time for us to score just before the halftime whistle. Halftime and as I just said, couldn't have been a better time for us to get that goal. We can now regroup at halftime and find a strategy to beat Juventus in this second half. I mean, Juventus scored from their only chance. We created a lot in this first half. We've just got to keep that up. And I actually think we've got a chance here to beat them. Yes, Sancho. Sees Aaron Wan-Bissaka. This is more like it. Cross maybe to Ronaldo. Oh, that cross was awful. Wan-Bissaka's delivery, man. Sometimes it's just so off. He needs to work on that. Ronaldo looking for Wan-Bissaka. Can we see a good ball from him this time? Still Wan-Bissaka. Probing. Looking for options here. Goes inside to Marcus Rashford. It's absolutely brilliant, that ball. And Rashford scores. But he's offside. That was a wonderful pass from Wan Bissaka. We need to see more of that from him. Unlucky to see Rashford being caught offside there. Let's take a look and see how close was that. Yeah, he was offside by quite a bit there. Here we go on the attack now with Marcus Rashford. Sees Jaden Sancho. This is lovely. Sancho now bringing the ball inside. This is where we can cause problems. He tries to cut back, but Matthias De Ligt read that one well. And Juventus survive. Kramaric on the ball right now. This, this is looking a bit problematic. It's Paolo Dybala. Sees the wide run being made by Carvajal. This is dangerous now. Good play from them. The blocks come in. But no, the rebound fell to Ben Sancor. That is so frustrating, man. I think the shot was going to go straight towards the hair. But it hit like Marquinhos or Maguire or one of them. And the ball then fell perfectly to, of course, um, Ben Sancor. And he scored. Like, look at this, guys. The shot was blocked by Marquinhos. It fell then perfectly to Ben Sancor. That is such a frustrating goal to concede. And David De Gea couldn't do much. We can't even blame him for that. It was just bad luck. And well, we're 2-1 down with just 15 minutes to go. We might actually end up losing this. Let's fight back, man. Let's give it out everything in these 15 minutes. Here we go now. Ronaldo looks for Marcus Rashford. It's a good pass into him. And now he's on the run here. So here goes Marcus Rashford. Definitely could cause problems here. Does so well to keep the ball. Looks for Bruno. This is looking nice. Now it's Ronaldo who shoots, but it gets blocked. Ronaldo still might have a chance. Get the shot off Ronaldo. What's happening here? Another chance wasted. How has Ronaldo not scored that? Two great chances for Cristiano. I cannot believe he's not scored. 
Look at that man. The keeper was down and he still hit it straight at him. Big opportunity wasted by Cristiano of all people. You expect him to score. We've paid the big money for him to score chances like that, but he couldn't deliver. Can we score from this set piece though? This could be our only chance. Marquinhos with the header and it's in. Oh my goodness. We've equalized in the 88th minute. Marquinhos, who made the mistake earlier on for the goal that we conceded, has responded by scoring in the 88th minute. What a finish from Marquinhos. Leaping header. No chance for any Juventus player. He rose above everyone else. And it was a powerful header past Chesney. And we've made a 2-2 in this UEFA Super Cup final. Look at that for a header from Marquinhos. Absolutely incredible. Chesney didn't even move. That's how powerful it was. And well, it is 2-all. And it's game on against Juventus in this final. And that's full time in this UEFA Super Cup final. Looks like we're going to go to extra time. This is going to be tough. Juan Bisanka seems finished, man. His stamina is just so low. He was superb all game long, but it's now time to bring him off for Dalot. And also, Ronaldo has had a bit of a shocker. He's going to take some time to adjust the Man United style of play, I suppose. So we're going to bring on Anthony Martial for him. Let's hope the super sub can have an impact. Lucas Digne looks for Anthony Martial, who's managed to get in behind. This could be our chance. We've brought him on for the reason. Still, Martial goes down inside the box. Referee, he didn't get the ball at all there. Are you joking, man? That's got to be a penalty. No! Fede Valverde with a lovely pass in to Marcus Rashford's part. I think he's just about onside. Marcus Rashford with a big chance tries to shoot, but Juventus recover. Fede Valverde with a lovely pass there. Probably deserved an assist for that. Rashford, this could be our chance. Probably the last attack of the game. Here goes Anthony Martial. He's got the pace right now to burn opposing defences. Still Martial on the attack. Looks to get past Matthias De Ligt, but that's De Ligt, man. It's never easy getting past him. And well, it's full time of even extra time. And looks like penalties are going to decide who wins the UEFA Super Cup. You guys know how bad I am at pens. I'm not looking forward to this. Time to kickstart penalties. Chesney's going to take the first penalty for them. And we've actually saved it. Come on, guys. We've got the advantage now. Can Bruno score? I'm going to go right. Please, Bruno, score this one. It's a fantastic penalty. Let's go. We've got the advantage. 1-0 up. Manchester United. Carvajal, please, De Gea, save this. And wow, there was no saving that. Um, Carvajal with an absolute monster of a penalty. Go on, Martial, please score this one. Decent. No, 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 it's been saved. There goes our advantage. Now it's Rugani. And David De Gea has made the save. He's been unbelievable so far. We've got the advantage yet again. Go on, Marcus Rashford. I'm going to go right this time. Rashford. Oh, that's the perfect penalty. I timed that to perfection, guys. Come on. We now lead 2-1. Let's save this one from Delict. Oh, this cheeky man just tries and chips us there successfully. But we've still got the advantage. Awad, please. Try and score this one, can you? I'm going to go top right corner. Please work. And it's not worked. I think we've missed that. I think we've missed it. Please save this one. No. It's all now on this penalty. If we miss this one, guys, it's all over. Lucas Digne has to score this. And thank God he has. It's now 3-3 and we're now on sudden death. Come on, De Gea. Please save this one. Aaron Ramsey, man. That's literally the perfect penalty. We've got to score this one as well from Fede Valverde. I'm going to go left. Let's hope this works. And well, it has. 4-4 now. Sudden that is getting crazy, man. Come on, let's save this one from Rabio. I'm going to go left. Oh, come on. Rabio, so cheeky right there. It's been an insane penalty shootout, man. Can Sancho keep things up by scoring? Please, Sancho, you've got to score this one. Oh, that is a lovely penalty. This is crazy. Can we actually make a save right here, please? Dybala goes left. No, I went right this time. Yo, these penalties are so stressful, man. Marquinhos, you've scored once in this game. Please score again. And let's go, guys. Marquinhos scores. We just need to make a save now. Otherwise, these penalties just will keep going on. I, I don't know what to do, man. Juventus are being so cheeky with their penalties. Come on, Dalot. You've been brought on as a sub. Please score. I'm going right again. It went towards the center. No. It went towards the center. No. We've lost the penalty shootout, guys. We've lost the penalty shootout. And well, Juventus have won the UEFA Super Cup. That is so frustrating, man. That is so frustrating. We fought hard against the champions of Europe. We took them all the way to penalties, but we couldn't get past the line. Zalot isn't the best penalty taker. It happens, and we've just got to move on. Penalties is just a game of luck. Like, it is just a game of luck. We really took the game to them, but ultimately, they just got the better of us. And well, this is going to be a learning curve, I suppose. We're going to learn a lot from this. I'm glad we lost the penalty shootout in the UEFA Super Cup and not in one of the big competitions. So 
It's all right. We've got to learn from this and move on. Juventus celebrate UEFA Super Cup win. Paolo Dybala led them to that trophy. Frustrating, but you know what? They're the champions of Europe for a reason. They didn't bottle it. We did. And because we didn't win the trophy, we couldn't make any updates to our Hall of Fame, which is frustrating. We've had an abysmal start to the season, if I must say so myself. I mean, a draw against Brighton away. We lost to Juventus in the cup final. Let's hope we can turn things around against Bournemouth. I mean, it's been terrible so far. We need to get back to win ways man and I'm hoping this game against Bournemouth we can do exactly that we're 10th in the league right now let's go out there and pick up a win in the Premier League that should boost the morale of our team Manchester United versus Bournemouth our first game at Old Trafford this season Ronaldo's first game at Old Trafford and this is how we've got the team set up I've made a few changes like bringing on Jack Grealish for Bruno Dan James starts as well we've got Dalot starting because well one Bissaka was super tired and also Maguire picked up a red card in our first Prem game of the season so he's suspended by getting a big chance here to shine this is our team united versus bournemouth let's go and get our first win of this season oh here we go could be a chance yes by wins the ball back brilliantly and now marcus rashford could be through on goal still rashford here stops it cut back to dan james and that's a simple finish there from the welshman an early lead for us against bournemouth 1-0 manchester united we need this i'll be honest i was trying to cut that one back to ronaldo but it just fell to dan james Thankfully, he took that one under control really well and it's a lovely finish with his weaker left foot. Manchester United in the lead against Bournemouth. 1-0. Big problems here for us as Bournemouth try and make the comeback. But, well, Marquinhos with a strong challenge wins it cleanly. And, yeah, great defending from him. That's what we want to see from him more often. Problems here as our defence is getting opened up. Here's Callum Wilson. Goes for goal. That wasn't threatening David De Gea whatsoever. So we go now. Marcus Rashford sees Ronaldo. Ronaldo releasing it for Jack Grealish as well. Grealish back to Cristiano Ronaldo who goes for goal. A big chance for him and he's missed. Brilliant link-up play between Ronnie and, of course, Jack Grealish. But... Ronaldo, man, you've got to score that, especially considering your Cristiano Ronaldo, one of the best players of all time. But he's still getting used to playing for in a Man United shirt, man. And I guess it's going to take him time. I'm hoping that he can actually score here at Old Trafford on his return. Inside now to Jack Grealish. It's brilliant. Grealish goes for goal and could be our second in the game. But Begovic makes a great save. Looks for Dan James. We know he's got the pace and Dan James is through here. Still Dan James 1v1. He's getting pushed off there. And that's brilliant defending from Lewis Cook. And well, Bournemouth avoid conceding another. It's half time. We're playing well. We've got to just keep that going in the second half as well. Now looks for Grealish or Ronaldo. This could be the chance we've been waiting for and it comes off the post. Cristiano has been so unlucky today, man. That should have been a goal. That, that's just, uh, that is just pure bad luck. What else can I say in that situation? It comes off the post, man. Problems here. Big problems. It's a chance for Bournemouth to get the equalizer and it's in no way. He completely destroyed Marquinhos there with the fake shot and then the finish was lovely as well. And Bournemouth are right back in it. It's 1-1 and game on. We're still playing at home. We've got our fans is backing. 30 minutes to go. We've got to give everything. We need three points here. Here goes Jack Grealish on the attack. Looks for the pass to Ronaldo. This could be the chance we've been waiting for. It's off the post. Unbelievable scenes. Ronaldo with an acrobatic effort and it comes off the post as well. He's been so unlucky today, man. That deserved a goal and would have probably been contender for goal of the season as well. That is, oh, I don't know what to say. Like, I genuinely don't. Look at this space we've got to attack into. Here goes Marcus Rashford. This could be our chance. Still Rashford now. He's got to play this one very smart. Still Rashford. Cut back. Grealish has to be a goal and it is a goal. Thankfully we score. Jack Grealish on the score sheet making it 2-1 against Bournemouth. Rashford played that very smart. I was trying to go for the cutback for Ronaldo but their number 33 had him completely marked. Grealish was making a good run and thankfully we found him and then it was a great finish from the Englishman. Ronaldo did well distracting the keeper that thankfully didn't hit him otherwise it would have been called offside. We're back in the lead. Man United lead 2-1. Oh, we've won the ball there brilliantly. Grealish could send Dan James through and this could be our chance here. Dan James with pace. There is no catching Dan James when he's this quick. Dan James, brilliant. Cut back inside. No, the keeper got there. Begovic and well, it's full time so that missed chance doesn't really count. Manchester United get the job done just about against Bournemouth. We've been terrible this season, but I'm so glad we get the win here. That'll definitely boost our confidence. Our first win of the season. Transfer offer coming in for Fred for about 17.6 million. I think that's a fair offer. We'll accept it. He's been decent for us. We're never called upon. But as I said, I'm looking to bring in someone else in that midfield to give us more quality. 
Let me know who should we sign. For now, we've decided to sell Fred to Napoli. So, that win now puts us in a better spot, I suppose. We're sixth in the Premier League with four points in two games. Not bad. But guess what, guys? Next episode is about to be huge for us in the Premier League because already we've got a massive game against Manchester City away at the Etihad Stadium. A win here would put us in a very good spot. And I'm hoping we can get that done. Next episode's about to be huge, man. Games against City, possibly even Spurs. And also, a lot of transfer business. We're still looking to sign another midfielder. So, it should be an exciting one. Season goals-wise, this episode, let's not talk about it. Because we could only score one goal with Rashford. But of course, we didn't lose at Old Trafford. So, I guess not that bad. But next episode, we've got to step things up. Before we wrap up the episode, time for you guys to make your vote count and vote for the Player of the Episode award. As always, a couple of nominees. The first one is going to be Jack Grealish. I thought he had a good episode. Scored the winner for us, of course, against Bournemouth. Your second nominee is going to be Dan James, who also scored in that game. So both of them had good episodes today. And that's why the two of them have been nominated. Click the I button on the top right of your screen to vote for either of them. But that is that. Another episode wrapped up of the Manchester United Career Mode series. Next episode, we've got bigger games, more transfer business, and I can't wait for it. If you guys are enjoying this series, let's keep the support coming in. Drop a like on the video, subscribe if you're new around here. And well, I'll see you guys next time.